Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and I want to continue uh, with the stories of the seer of Lublin, and in particular with respect to his uh, um, uh, the thorn in his side, Rabbi Azrael Horowitz, um, known by the nickname uh, Eisenkop, Iron Head who was one of the Miznagdim, he was a Miznaget, he was a, an opponent of, uh, uh, of Hasidism and was constantly uh, pestering um, the seer of Lublin. And um, uh, Rebbe uh, Yaakov Yitzhak, the Jose of Lublin, would every once in a while uh, get these, uh, these little remarks from the rabbi of Lublin, Rabbi Israel. And um, in one, he, um, the rabbi of Lublin, uh, he says, you know that you are not a tzaddik. You know that you are not a great Torah scholar. And everyone admitted that the rabbi of Lublin was. He says, you're not as scholarly as I am. You're not a Talmud Chacham like I am. You're not a Torah scholar. You're not a sage. Um, and yet people flock to you. This coming Shabbos, this coming Sabbath, I want you to address your followers and I want you to tell them that you are not a tzaddik and that they shouldn't follow you. So, uh, the seer of Lublin gets up in front of his uh, congregation, in front of his followers, and Rabbi uh, Yaakov Yitzhak says the following. Yidin, Jews, I am not a tzaddik. Believe me, I'm not. I'm not a great righteous person. I am not a scholarly person like uh, Rabbi Horowitz, the rabbi, uh, the Rav, the rabbi of, uh, of Lublin. I'm not. And if you think I am, don't. I promise you, I'm not a tzaddik. His humility his modesty electrified everyone who listened, and they made them even more fervent followers. This drove Rabbi Horowitz nuts. Um, so he goes back to uh, the rabbi, uh, the, the seer of Lublin, and he says, okay, listen, this is, it's well known that you Hasidim uh, hate the haughty and you love modesty, so this is what you're going to do. Next Shabbos, you're going to tell your followers, the following. Um, you tell them that I am. Say to them, I am the chosen, uh, righteous person. I am one of the great tzaddikim of this generation. And, uh, you know, you should follow me. And, because um, I know the Hasidim, you love the humble, you eschew the haughty, and uh, tell them that uh, you are one of the elect. And they will turn away from you, because you're not modest. Um, the seer of Lublin says, "I'm not a tzaddik, but by the same token, by the same token, I'm not a liar, and so uh, I'm not going to say that to my people." Uh, Rabbi Horowitz um, said to the seer of Lublin once that. Um, how is it that so many Jews flock to you? He, he says, I am much more learned than you are. No one throngs to me. They, people don't come to me, uh, flocking to me the way they do to you. What's going on? Um, the seer of Lublin says, I too am astonished that people, so many people come to me because I am insignificant and I am not a great Talmud Chacham, I'm not a great Torah scholar the way you are, I'm not. But they come to hear God's word instead of looking for it to you whose learning far exceeds my own. And perhaps this is the reason, he continues. The seer of Lublin says, they come to me because I am astonished that they come. And they don't come to you because you're astonished 
that they don't come to you. Maybe that's the difference. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you find them inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project and Daniel, and thank you too much.